Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a try new makeup. You can see in my thumbnail all the products we're gonna use. Tons of new stuff here. Things that you guys requested me to pick up, some drugstore, high-end, you name it, we got it in this video. I also tried to do that viral messy bun. It's definitely giving mess. We're gonna jump into this try new makeup. I'll zoom you guys in and let's get started. When my brows aren't done, you know we have a new brow product. And this I had so many people tell me about. And it's from Maybelline. It's their Build a Brow. And I got this shade Soft Brown. I wanted to get one a little bit darker than this. However, this is the only one they had in stock on Amazon at the time when I ordered. So I have tried this and I do think I still need a little bit of a darker shade. I don't think the color shows up that well on me. However, we're gonna try it in this video so you can see this. I'm really excited for it regardless. It is the Maybelline Build a Brow and it has a sealing gel on one side and it has a brow pen on the other. And people were saying that this is better than the Urban Decay Brow Blade, also better than the NYX Lift and Snatch. This is the tip compared to the Lift and Snatch, which is bleeding all over my hand right now, apparently. So I'm gonna use this as it suggests. I'm gonna use the brow gel to seal my brows, not to first set them and then go in because I did that already and the pen doesn't go on top of the brow gel properly. So I don't wanna mess this up. I'm just going to underline my brows with a pencil first just to get the shape that I want. And then we're gonna fill in with the new brow pen. This is the same issue I've had with Brow Blade, is that the lighter shades I find a little bit harder to show up, which makes sense. So I do feel like to go a touch darker than you think. You can see how light it is. I tried to put it on my hand. It's just not showing up the way that I want. So I'm gonna have to go back and get a darker shade when this is back in stock. This specific shade was on sale, so maybe that's why. It's very natural filling in though. You can see it filled in a little bit. I'm not gonna give up on it yet. It's a really good concept. I just honestly think I got too light of a shade for me. I'm gonna run the brow gel through the brows to set them in place. And then I'm going to just clean up the underbrow with some concealer and shape it so it's not so bulky at the bottom. And then we're gonna go in with the eyes. Brows are on. We're gonna see if any brows get out of place and we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I have these two palettes from Too Faced, which I'm super excited to try. And I was deciding which one to use and I'm just gonna use both. I'm gonna do two different eyes for you today, one with each palette. And we have the Warm Ember Nudes Mini Eyeshadow Palette and then we have the Cold Smolder Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I can't decide which of these I like more, so hence why we're doing two looks. And I think I'm leaning towards the Cold Smolder Nudes for the color story. So this is the cool, this is the warm tone, both beautiful color stories. So I'm gonna start with this eye and I'm gonna use the cold one. Ruffer saw my brush video and they sent over a bunch of their detail brushes to stock me up. It was so kind of them to do. So I'm gonna be using some of their brushes for my eyes today. And I love these brushes so much. If you haven't seen my top 10 brush video, I film that and it's super helpful for the shapes that I go for and just sizing and things like that. If you ever wanted to know my favorite designs of brushes and kind of what I use things for, it's a great video to reference. I'm gonna go in with the Ruffer 15, which is gonna be my crease brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade. I always love how Too Faced does the matte shadows a little bit bigger than the shimmers in some of their recent palettes because I use more of the matte color than I do the shimmer. So it just makes sense in terms of how they set that up. I love it. And I love how these palettes actually close too because you can snap them closed so you know they're actually closed. It's not just a plain cardboard. It actually has that closure there. So they really, I was gonna do this eye. We're working on this one. They really made these palettes beautiful, I think. And I do love Too Faced shadow formula. So we'll see how this goes. Wow. That is more pigmented than I thought. We're gonna go very smoky today, apparently. That was just one dip in. And that's all I'm gonna need. I'm gonna blend this out. We're gonna clean up this whole outer corner. I just wanna get it softer out here. It's gonna drag it out more than I'm actually gonna wear it, but that's why we do the eyes first, so we can clean up after. Really nice blend on that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here just to clean up underneath my brow, further blend out that crease. Taking this shade with my finger, I'm gonna put it all over my lid, the one I'm drawn to. I think I'm gonna use almost every shade in this palette. That's a beautiful shade. I love the tones. 
for this eye. Trying to think of the makeup to wear for my birthday on the weekend. I'm loving this so far. Gonna take the lightest shade, try and get that into the inner corner. Just a little pop in the inner corner. Taking a Refer 03, just a super tiny pencil brush. I'm gonna take the deepest matte in the palette and just add it to the outer corner. Just wanna use that shade, even though I honestly like how this looks, and then just a little bit of liner is kinda what I'm feeling, but I wanna see how this blends to that shadow. This looks like a pencil brush, just a little bit larger than your typical, and it's tapered, it looks really cool. I don't think I've ever used this one, it's the Refer 26. So I'm gonna use it with nothing on just to blend out these edges. I love how that looks, how everything blended. We're gonna clean up that edge after, and we're gonna move on to the other eye, and then just see if I wanna add anything. I might do liner on both eyes just to kinda match it since I have to go out today. <laughs> then we have the Warm Ember Nudes, which I'm gonna use on my right eye. We're gonna do similar sort of steps. I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna use just playing around at this point. So taking a rougher 27. I'm gonna go in with this matte shade for my crease. Warm shades for me, I just find always easier to blend. This was nice and that worked, but this was just effortless. So have my crease color on. As much as I'm drawn towards this shade here, I'm gonna go in with the brown because I did a look recently with the color like that. Same thing, gonna pop this on with my finger all over the lid. Going back in with that matte shade, I just wanna deepen up the crease since this is a deeper lid shade. I'm gonna fuse those two colors together. Lost some of the shine there, so I'm just gonna go back and do this lightly, keeping it just a soft wash on the eye so we still have it looking blended. And then for a pop on the center, I'm gonna take that light shade on my finger. This pencil brush is even tinier than the other pencil brush I showed you. It is the Refer 23, which I'm gonna use for this eye. See that? I love the sizes in these because there's always, I find a use for little detail brushes. So I'm just going in with that matte shade on this detail brush, drag it along the lash line for a little bit of a liner look. And then I'm gonna do somewhat the same thing, then just that fluffy brush, I'm gonna gradually blend that out. This one I am having a little bit more fallout. I still have some fallout here, which we need to clean up. Just noticed it a little bit more with this eye. So this one, there's a little bit more contrast because it's lighter and darker, whereas this one looks a little bit more blended. Two different colors. Let me know what eye you like the most. I did have a liquid liner I wanted to test out. However, I don't wanna cover up the smokiness we created for the wing shape. So I'm going to just go ahead and go in with my mascara, which is new, and this is from the drugstore. It is the new L'Oreal Voluminous Panorama Mascara. And I was seeing this on socials and I wanted to test it out. I'm a big fan of Voluminous Mascara, L'Oreal mascaras in general. Love the packaging though, it's gold and it's raised. It's really nice. It does have a rubberized wand that is bendy. I could feel when taking it out of the tube. You can just see there's a bend there and it looks like a little Christmas tree. <laughs> and we're gonna try this wand and really build up our lashes. See how this works. And I got the shade Black is Black and I can definitely tell. This is very, very black. So far it is building nicely. I can see it took out one of my lashes already. <laughs> Let's just remove that. Three dips in, it is starting to clump up on my third coat slightly. So we're gonna leave it like that, but that is three coats of this mascara. It is a little bit on the wetter side right now, which I prefer when mascara dries out. So we're going to do the same with my left eye. That is the mascara so far. I think it did a really good job at building and laying. I'll keep you posted on how this wears because that's the most important, that this isn't gonna flake or smudge or smear. I don't want any flakes in my eyes. <laughs> now we're going to try out some new lashes I have from LH Cosmetics. They sent these over, they're so pretty. I do not know which one I wanna use. We have the Lash Hero and the Lash Bestie. I think I'm gonna go for this style. The spacing really intrigues me on these and I'm going to cut off two sections and just have five sections to pop on my eye. I think that flatters my eyes the best when I cut down lashes like that. So I'm going to do that with these. Nice clear band on these. I'll show you how the full thing looks like on my eye though. It's just a little too big for me I feel. 
We are gonna cut that down. This sort of cluster, I would save just for an outer corner lash, just a little bit of lash. So I don't throw those away. The clear band is perfect for no liner looks like this because it blends in with the lash line so much better. Those are the lashes on, pretty long on my eyes, I feel, but they have a nice shape to them. So loving those. So now we're gonna move on to the complexion and I have a few things here to test out that I'm very excited for. I got some stuff in PR I was not expecting. I have a package from First Aid Beauty. They have their bronze and glow drops with niacinamide, safe for sensitive skin. I really wanted to try the glow recipe ones too, but we have the First Aid Beauty ones to test out. And then we also have the First Aid Beauty Brighten and Glow Eye Cream with niacinamide. So these are both safe for sensitive skin. I'm gonna try out the eye cream first and then we're gonna go ahead and use the bronzing drops and the primer I have to use, also very excited for. This kind of reminds me of the In Beauty one. It has some color to it. This one has a little bit more of a metallic look though. I like the pigment, the glow underneath my eye. I don't personally find flattering. It is very metallic. It feels really nice. I just don't like the metallic. I do like the tint though. I'm going to try out the bronze and glow drops layered or mixed with skincare and makeup. I'm going to try mix this with my sunscreen just because I've always wanted to add a tint and some bronzy glow sometimes to my sunscreen if that's all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my Skin 1004 one. I'm almost done this, I love it. And then I'm gonna start off with just a couple drops of this. I'm not sure how pigmented this is gonna be. You can see that? That's bronzy. So we're gonna do one, two, and whatever was running off the cap. <laughs> the sunscreen is clear, so any cast this gives is because of the drops. Before this dries down fully, I'm just gonna pump out a little bit extra. I don't really see it on my skin, so I wanna see what this looks like just directly applied. We are glowing now and we are bronzed. So I actually like doing that, putting it on top, then see how much I actually wanna use. So I'll probably do that next time. This has a better finish than the Drunk Elephant ones for me. The Drunk Elephant ones for me just look dry somehow. In person, I look more bronze than I do on camera. On camera, I look red. It did add bronze and glow to the skin. Next time, for me, might mix this in with foundation and see how that goes, but that's just it mixed in with skincare, which is one of the ways you can use this. And as it's drying down on my face, I love the look of it. Initially, it's just very highlighting all my imperfections, but as my skin absorbs it, it's starting to look a little bit more flattering on my skin. And then this from Milk Makeup is what I'm really excited to try. It's a primer, but it's a foaming primer. I feel like this is gimmicky and just for fun. I know Milk Makeup has been stepping out of the box with their products, which I personally really appreciate. So I am very excited to try this, even though I do think it's kind of gimmicky. I do not even know how to use this. Just for funsies, I'm gonna pump this on my face, even though I probably would do in my hands first, but. I want one of those weird moments. This feels so wrong. Feels like I'm about to remove everything I just did. This is so weird. I've never used one, obviously a foaming primer, but a primer that's this liquid. You could probably use one fourth of what I did there. Feels good though. Like if you were dry before, you're not gonna be dry after this. <laughs> Because I'm using a new primer, I don't wanna use a new foundation just because I wanna see how my normal foundations lay on top of this whole combo we have going on. So I'm going in with my favorite. It's the Beauty Blender Skin Tint. If you've not tried this, you must. It's going on sale in Sephora a lot. Maybe it is right now, and if it's not, they have their Sephora sale coming up soon. And this is also a more reasonably priced foundation on Sephora regardless of if you can get this on sale or not. So I love it and I wanted to use it again today. Just gonna drop everything on my face. The color match of this is literally perfection. Out of habit, I grabbed my BK Beauty 101 to apply this, but we do have a new foundation brush. This is the Refer B02. I just got this in the mail. So for my second layer of building this up, I'm gonna use that to apply it. Typically, I don't go for this style of brush hair for foundation and liquids. We're going to test it out. I love how this foundation builds. I just feel like 
this style of brush hair for liquids just absorbs too much product. Doesn't matter the brand, it's just my preference. Always the same, just think synthetics better for cream than liquids. I love how dewy my skin is right now though. Hello hydration. This foundation's looking exceptionally good today. Then for concealer, also don't have a new one to try. Just gonna use my hourglass one. And this one isn't brightening at all. It's more so my skin color for this foundation. Just putting it places I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. And I have the Ruffer 36. It's one of the new brushes they sent over. Love that. I ran out of both my Charlotte Tilbury powders. I got this one to use. Do you think I can make it to the sale? This is holding me off. So I'm using my little mini that I got. Thank you for this. And I'm gonna just rub my puff in here and try and set my under eye area. I just have to use this for my under eyes now. It's like a non-negotiable step. I just feel like even if I don't set the rest of my face, if I do that to my face, Look at the difference. I mean, I have to do this. Then I'm just going to take 10 minutes, dig into this and set the rest of my face. So fast forward. The brow gel isn't too bad as a ceiling. This hair is always going all over the place, but that's because I brushed it accidentally with a brush, but everything feels really good right now. I'm gonna fix them up after. They always mess up and look a little bit smudgy after my foundation and powder because I was going on top. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna do it at the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to bronzer. And I cannot thank you enough for this bronzer. This is House Labs bronzer in number five. I don't even know if you can see how much this is dented. I am going in on this. You can't even see the H really. Like I am using this. So thank you guys for the recommendation. I'm gonna take this on my Smith brush. Bronze up the skin. We have the new blushes from House Labs too. I thought it would be fitting to use that with the bronzer and I figure since we have two different eyes why don't we use two different blushes too but we're gonna use both of the new house labs blushes I got the two new shades I had to they are more expensive per gram if you break it down however I don't typically go through a blush myself so for these to be a little bit less expensive and smaller I still really like that they did that. I understand that the cost per gram went way up, but these are the two new ones. I love the formula. I'm here for new blushes and I love the new packaging. So we have Fire Moon and French Rosette. Packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love how they correspond to the colors of the blushes now. They have all the original shades that they had, except for the lavender one, which I believe was limited edition. We have Fire Moon here and French Rosette. I might actually switch them now. You know what, I'm gonna switch them. I could do either or on either cheek, but now I'm switching them. So we got French Rosette here, Fire Moon on this side. I don't know what I'm doing. Taking French Rosette, and using my favorite blush brush. I'm gonna load this up, such a pretty color. I love the two new shades. I'm just gonna load this up so you can see the color on the skin. It's more than I typically wear. I wanna show you what the color looks like. Just gonna clean off that brush. Then we're gonna go in with Fire Moon on this side. Again, load up the brush. I want you guys to see the color. I recommend these for the Sephora sale if you're gonna be buying anything. Just seeing what different tones do to my eyes and my skin. This is really fun to do, doing the half and half. I'm actually liking how bright the under eye is looking without any shadow. So I'm gonna just load on the mascara. You know what? I was gonna use my MAC one just out of habit. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal one, see how it works on my lower lashes, cause that makes sense. Then I'll really be able to tell if we get any smearing. This is actually kind of amazing <laughs> for lower lashes. I really like it. Just gonna run a spoolie through them to get any excess, but I'm liking them. And then for lips, I normally wouldn't pair these two colors together, but I wanted to show you a new lip liner I got. And I heard this was a dupe for Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever, I think it was. I forget which one it was, but I bought it because it's supposed to be a really nice, cool tone, affordable lip liner, and it's from Rimmel. It's their Lasting Finish lip liner, and this is in the shade Cappuccino. I'm gonna line the lips with this. I think this was like $5 on Amazon, super affordable, long lasting and creamy enough. I really love the formula. I can see why this is viral. I'm just gonna blend it out. I don't want it too defined. I just want my lips to have like a base of fullness, if that makes sense. And now this, 
I wasn't initially gonna pick this up. I don't even know what made me buy this. I rarely get any comments on my makeup from my family, okay? They're just so used to seeing me in absolutely everything. It's just, I would walk out like this in two different sides of my face and it's just whatever, you know? <laughs> it's just a normal day. I was wearing this while we had an early Easter dinner and not only my mom said something, but Charles, they're both agreeing. They're like, your lips are just glowing. But it was the shine and sure enough, when I took a photo of what they were seeing, this makes your lips so glossy. The formula is incredible. It's the House Labs PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze in Guava. This is the warm pink. They do have a cooler pink. It has pigment, it's smooth. It doesn't get those stringy bits. It has the perfect thickness to stay on your lips and the gloss, the glaze, the glow, everything. It is so glossy. You could see the sun in my lips. That's how they were just glowing at our little Easter dinner. This hybrid lip product, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. If you see a color you like in this, this is one of my top recommendations for the upcoming Sephora sale. This was out of stock though. I had to wait for this to restock, but this color specifically is so beautiful. Plus the formula is fantastic. You'll be happy with any of them if you see a different color you like. I know they have a cooler pink that I'm kind of eyeing as well, but so, so happy with this. Now for a little makeup mist. I don't feel like I actually need any glow, but I wanted to test this out. It's from Pixie and it's their Vitamin Makeup Mist with Orange Blossom and Citrus Extracts. It's an energizing facial water. You can use it before, after makeup, or anytime after makeup. It says it adds hydration and preserves. So let's add even more glow. Let's actually try the sprayer first. Okay. Ooh. Such a light mist and it smells good. It's the Orange Blossom. Love the smell of that, that's so good. Okay, so we're gonna dry down. When we're this wet, you can see all my pores. So we're gonna let everything dry down. I'm gonna come back, fix up the messy bun, and it's probably just gonna still be the mess. 90% mess, 10% bun when I come back, and we'll finish off this video. I was gonna fix my hair and get dressed, and I didn't either. <laughs> this is the completed look. Let me know which eye and which cheek you like better and if they're different or if you just are partial to one side, I wanna know. I wanna know what colors you like best for this two-tone look. Starting with the eyeshadow palettes, I love both. I am a partial though to the cold one for whatever reason. I'm really loving this look right here and I think that's gonna be my birthday makeup. I think I figured it out. They blended beautifully. I love both looks. So whatever color story you're gravitating towards, I recommend either or. They're really, really pretty. The lashes are so nice too. These are the first I've tried from LH Cosmetics. I was looking for some new lashes. I really, really like these. They added just enough drama to the look. The mascara is promising. Can't say too much right now, but I do like it more for my lowers as of this moment. I just need it to dry out a little bit more. So this new one from L'Oreal, the Panorama, it shows promise, but let's see in two weeks <laughs> how this works for my eyes. The Milk Makeup Foaming Primer. I used an excessive amount. <laughs> I had no idea. I haven't seen anyone apply this. I've seen it briefly, but I haven't really watched anything recently. So yeah, definitely don't use as much as I did, but it's super hydrating on the skin. I think the complexion looks really good. I'm gonna see if this helps the wear of the Beauty Blender. It does last pretty good on its own, but we'll see if this helps at all. Is this a mini though? It seems pretty small. The eye cream, too metallic for my taste. However, I do really like the bronze and glow drops, and I think this is my preference for the ones that I've personally tried that are on the market so far. I feel like this mix is better and it's a little bit more moisturizing for my skin and I love that it's safe for sensitive skin. So I feel like this is gonna be a better option for someone like me. So if you're curious about this, I've liked it so far. I definitely wanna mix it in with my foundation next though. The two new brushes from Ruffer are amazing. I do prefer synthetic though, but if you like natural hair, these are fantastic brushes. The lip liner from Rimmel, $5, and you get a beautiful cool tone lip liner shade. You can make this pretty deep. I did lightly on my lips, but you can get a pretty defined line for this if you have deeper skin than me. I was just pressing lightly because this can go pretty dark on my skin. The two new shades for House Labs, 
the formula top notch this is the best powder formula on the market for me and both shades are so pretty i love the new packaging everything about them i'm in love so if you're looking for new blushes for the sephora sale these are what i'm recommending and then the house labs lip oil glaze i don't know what this is it's a hybrid is what they're marketing as so shiny so pretty the color is so beautiful i'm probably going to look at other shades and see if i like them i'm more so drawn towards pink like this but maybe i will pick up the more cool leaning one it was a little bit lighter but this is the first one i wanted to try and it's the more warm pink and then the mist from pixie added definitely a lot of glow to the skin which you could see and i love the smell the mister is fantastic on that we'll see if it preserves my skin but it definitely added more hydration not that i needed it because we were pretty hydrated prior but i am loving my makeup today i do like this side more though so let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below i hope you liked me doing two different eyes for this look and two different cheeks because <laughs> i'm gonna go out like this now for you guys so thank you so much for watching if there's any other products you guys want me to check out for a future video let me know in the comment section below and i'll definitely check those out for you if you have not already i would love 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 for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button the bell to be notified of all my future videos i will see you guys in my next one